Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy YCB Man, and today we have a reaction video. Today we are reacting to a fresh and fit video. This one is going to be a little different. I know because like as of late, like let's be honest here, we've been we've been making fun of them for quite some time now. <laughs> like we have legitimately been making fun of them, but one of the main reasons as to why I even started talking about the red pill in the first place is just I feel like a lot of these guys are generally misconstrued about some things especially when it comes to the topic of dating and women and today is no exception today uh they are going to be talking about loyalty i actually got these clips from another youtuber by the name of night talk so shout out to you but before we get into the video i just want to remind you guys do not forget to share like and subscribe it really helps out with the channel and it lets me know that you are rocking with the content also make sure that you guys pull up tomorrow man tomorrow is september 21st and we are going live we are celebrating me hitting 10k Make sure y'all pull up. It's going to be a fun time. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this video. When we talk about this loyalty, guys, we're talking about loyalty to you oh, and everything. Does she listen to what you say? Does she question what you say, etc.? Does she give you a hard time when you give her instruction? These are all... Um, you, need, you, you don't just need loyalty. You need unyielding loyalty in all facets of what you do. If you were to say... I'm dropping everything and I'm moving to cross country next week. Would she leave with you? Oh. Would she drop what she's doing? Okay. If you told her, I don't really like this girl, you need to stop being friends with her. Is she going to drop that friend? You know what I mean? Is she willing to truly make sacrifices on your behalf? Yeah. Right? Which, if she makes a sacrifice on your behalf, it's going to benefit her because remember, you're the leader, right? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. So, this is one of the, this is a great example of why I even talk about these guys in the first place because, like, what he is talking about, he wants a puppet. He doesn't necessarily want a relationship. He doesn't want a woman. He wants a puppet. He wants somebody that he can control. Someone or or like Night Talk said, a, like a slave. Guys, let me tell you something. Unyielding loyalty to somebody, no matter what you do, no matter what you decide, is stupid. Like you're an actual moron if you have unyielding loyalty. Clear lines need to be drawn as to when you need to stop being so loyal to your friend. Bro, you're not a dog. Like, we are human beings. We, we are not dogs. Unyielding loyalty to someone is actually stupid. Yo, I'm going to be honest with you. And I mean, if you're religious, like, the only person that you should have unyielding loyalty to is God. No one is perfect at all. Men most definitely make mistakes. Women make mistakes. That's why you work together, especially when it comes to making decisions. Even his example of, like, if, you, if a man has to move cross-country, is she going to drop everything and just go with you? Like, nah. He said she can't even ask questions. Are you serious? So if I if I tell my wife, hey, you know, we're moving next week to California. We live in North Carolina. We, we're moving from North Carolina to California. You are meaning to tell me she just has to accept that fact and, and we're just automatically moving to Cali? Bro, that's dumb. Because at the, at the end of the day, not only does she have a life here now, she has a job here. In this example, you think it's okay to just uproot someone's life without any sort of explanation or anything like they just need to they just need to go bro that's a puppet that is a puppet that is a dog that is even a slave what are you talking about unyielding loyalty is stupid and let me ask you a question myron let me ask you a question if you had a daughter would you expect your daughter to have the same unyielding loyalty to a man there are a lot of men out here who are actually stupid like actually dumb I would not want my daughter dating these type of men that are just dumb and they don't know what they're, what they're doing. They have no direction in life. Like, no, just because they're the man and they're supposed to be the authority, uh, do you expect your daughter to follow? Let me give you a scenario, actually. Let's say your daughter was dating Jack Doherty. Jack Doherty, let's say your daughter was dating Jack Doherty. Would you expect for her to follow his every command no matter how dumb, no matter how big of a head he is, would you really expect for your daughter to follow somebody like that? The answer is no. And if you said yes, you're coping, you're, you're lying. You are not going to want your daughter to mindlessly follow a man just because of the simple fact they are a man. That doesn't make any, that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let's, let's continue. She's going to directly benefit from anything that you benefit from because she's under your um, authority that's not that's not even necessarily true though because the decision that you just made and and this is his example of just randomly moving cross country the example that you just gave she doesn't even know if that's going to benefit for her she doesn't know that at all 
that is the true test of loyalty. It's not just the sexuality. That that's a that's her main job. Obviously, she shouldn't be doing that. But bro, I'm talking about loyalty in all facets, yeah. right? I, I mean, bro, going to a club, all this other stuff, that's surface level shit. Like that's basic stuff, man. Like that shouldn't even be. That's not even a conversation to be having with these girls if you want to take her seriously. Oh, I want to go to the club. Like, bro, that shouldn't even be a fucking. That's a non-negotiable, right? I'm talking about in other aspects. I'm talking about more advanced shit because this is a girl that you're gonna bring <laughs> around your family, okay? For holidays, I'm talking about un. What does un What does unyielding loyalty have to do with you bringing? her around your family what does that even mean like what what is the correlation here? yielding loyalty yo we're going out okay what do i wear wear this boom she don't even know where y'all niggas going you just told her to get ready and she does it yeah so you want a f puppet you want a slave yeah you don't want a woman this is one of the reasons why i wanted to cover this in the first place because i want to talk to young men and tell them the absolute truth this is not the truth this is this is fantasy this is fantasy land here you are not going to get a woman to be this subservient unless you are that 1% man. And the issue about being that, quote, 1% male, you know, you you have the looks, you have the, the, the body, you have the money, et cetera, and you have the influence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The only issue with that is that you are going to constantly attract a specific type of woman who's going to be interested in you specifically for superficial things, right? Honestly, I just realized I lied. You don't even necessarily have to have uh, good looks or a decent body. I mean, look at fresh. And guys, yo, be honest with yourselves. Do you think women look at fresh and fit and they say, oh wow they're they're handsome they're charismatic you know uh they're nice i want to be with them or are they looking at them and saying yo they got money <laughs> like what do you, which one do you think it is at that point you may find a woman who's going to be like that subservient because she wants to stick around the money but she's not sticking around you because you're just such a great guy you know yeah <laughs> she's she's not going to be sticking around you for your personality she's sticking around you for that bread and and those goddamn teslas and porsches that you have outside it has nothing to do with you this is why i even talk about these guys in the first place hey uh like i said before it's it, guys it's got to be unwavering loyalty in all aspects and you need to ask yourself the woman that you're with now if you told her yo i'm moving you're coming with me is she gonna go with you most i guess they can only say no if I told my wife we're moving, she is going to have questions like any other normal type of person. Why do we need to move? Where are we moving to? What am I going to do? I have a job here. I just can't up and move. Do you know how hard it was for my wife to find a job? Like it is hard for people to work and she has her master's degree. I just have my bachelor's. It was hard for her to find a job and she she has a great job now and you would expect for somebody like me to just uproot her life just because I say so, that's dumb. That's dumb. The only way that would work is if I'm like this quote 1% man who's paying for everything but realistically, that's not gonna happen. Most normal guys are going to have to be 50-50 with their women. That's the truth. You want the truth? That's the truth. You know what I mean? We're at the bed. This whole, you know, no, no girls night out, whatever. That's the basics, guys. I guess way more. We got to layer the cake here. You know, some of y'all niggas are dating girls that like to go to the club, bro. That's hell. You guys are. You guys can't even fathom what the fuck I'm talking about right now. You can, if you can't even keep your girl from wanting to get attention and be. Does it Myra's girl go to the club? A whore on the internet and or at a club? That's a rap. You, you, you. Uh, she has to earn the right. So you're you and your family, bro. Yeah, bro. She's really got earned. And you. Time out. Also, doesn't Myron's girl post like very, um, how should I say, like, scandalous pictures? Like, isn't she half naked on her profile? Or am I, again, am I tripping? Look at this. This is a haram. Oh, yeah, haram. Yeah, no, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah. They are so good at working. Yeah, never mind. They are so good at working. Yeah, never mind. They are so I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Why are you bringing this loyal to you and only change other aspects? Bro, why are you bringing around you? Bro, I'll put it this way. <laughs> Even simpler, because because we're going more advanced here. Yeah. If your girl still goes to the club, you ain't bringing her around your family, bro. If your girl has tiny pictures on the internet and doesn't have her shit on private or took all the, hasn't taken all those pictures down, you ain't bringing her around your family, bro. She's cheating. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. What the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah, what the fuck? No, how yo. how did we yo what? How did we get from yo if she's if she's like has like uh these these pictures on on instagram lo looking like a whore how do we go from that to she's cheating if she goes to the club and if she has you know certain pictures of her on instagram in bikinis and stuff she's cheating like what where is the correlation just because a woman like maybe has like bikini pictures in her profile that 
that doesn't mean that she's cheating. That doesn't mean that she's a bad person. Doesn't mean that she's a whore. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. It's and it's even funnier because the most of the girls that they are referring to like this, like they they date. So I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. By cheating by simply posting things that are, I want to say, provocative. She could even respond to dudes. She could even be embracing other people's conversations that she shouldn't be. All these things. I <coughs> it's a cure. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> <coughs> it's secure as fuck. Excuse me. Shit. Had <coughs> to got being loyal. Woo. Yeah. So the loyalty, guys. There's levels to it, but it's got to be unwavering in all aspects of your authority. And obviously, you dictate the level of you. You dictate how she's gonna be loyal to you because of what you need her to do for you, etc. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, it's got to be unwavering, unquestionable, and she does it. Unquestionable is obviously crazy. you know. It, it needs to be the point where if you told her jump off a cliff, she would do it. Obviously, you would never do that. Yeah. But you guys understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to make a point here. Wow. That's how it's got to be. Okay. With women, guys, I hate to say it like that, but it's got. That's the only way you know that she loves you. She ain't cheating on you. I guarantee you, bro. Somewhere else, either. No, 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 no. You, you may, you may feel like this because of the Miami 304s that you date, but normal women are not like this. What are you talking about? This is how I know Myron and Walter have never been in any type of regular re relationship at all what the hell are you talking it doesn't have to be like that at all i have all the confidence in the world that my wife isn't going to go out here and cheat randomly while i'm working or or whatever or while she claims that she's at work or what i have all type of faith in my wife I don't care if she tells me she's going out with her friend, not necessarily to the club, but if she says, hey, I'm hanging out with my friend, I'd be like, all right, cool, have fun. I don't care. I don't need to be around her. I don't need her to be around me 24-7. I think that's weird. Honestly, it's extremely healthy for you to have some time apart in the first place. Like, what are y'all talking about, man? This is Jesus Christ. Hi, social media, going out with girls to like show off. It's just like, bro. She needs to be clingy, bro. Yeah. If she's not clingy, that's a problem. That's a problem, man. That, 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 that's so insecure. She has her own. Blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up, bro. Shut the fuck that's up. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. Shut the fuck it's up. It's not cool. Like, oh, 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 oh. Shut the it's, fuck it's, up. It's not. It's not cool. You are afraid of another man coming in and swooping and swooping your girl up. And I get it, bro. Not everybody has faith that their woman won't cheat. I understand, but guess what? I do. And do you know why I have that faith? Because I know this woman. I. I went to middle school with this woman. I vetted this woman for years, and she also vetted me. If we are being honest here, if you end up with promiscuous women, a lot of the times, it's your fault because of your taste, because you are not properly vetting these women in the first place. If you see that this girl has different pictures with a whole bunch of men on her Instagram profile. She's constantly on vacations and you are trying to wife her up. And then all of a sudden, oh my God, I didn't know that you were, what? You're, you're a whore? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> oh God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You, you, you niggas, guy, niggas that say dumb shit like that, you're with a bitch that's just tolerating your dumbass. She tells you what to do. Mm. She tells you, oh, we need to do this. That's the bitch that's nagging you. A lot of you niggas that sit there that don't agree with me on this shit, y'all are in an equal partnership with your girl. Most men that are not a part of your following do not agree with you because most men are fucking regular ass people without money. <laughs> like, what do you... And that's not what you want. That's what modern day society tells you. Yo, you need to be in a relationship Ooh. where she got a road and you guys are bringing 50-50. The one that got roasted. She even said, I had a man, 50-50. I got bored. She said it plain as day. What do you understand? Like it's simple. I, I don't know how many girls we have to bring on this podcast from different walks of life, from different parts of the world. She was Venezuelan. She had Western at all. Culture. She's she been here for like less than a year. It has absolutely nothing to do with geography. It has everything to do with the type of woman that you bring onto the podcast. A lot of the women that you bring onto your podcast are promiscuous and have only fans you guys specifically go after the women who you just described you invite them onto your podcast but you present them as oh every woman thinks like this guys everybody think they don't they don't the majority of women do not act or think like the women that you bring onto your podcast if you bring a woman named hannah that works at a bank in maryland she is not going to have the same views as the woman that you bring onto your podcast. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I just had a random thought. I don't know why the hell I just thought about this, but Fresh is talking about they before they were talking about uh bringing women to their to their families right and how you do not want to bring a woman to your family if she's extremely promiscuous or if she has certain pictures online correct me if i'm wrong fresh and myron were claiming daisy y'all remember daisy right they were claiming that daisy was an escort they kept saying that over and over again. Daisy's an escort. Daisy is an escort. But didn't Walter bring her around his family in less than two months? You thought I forgot about that, didn't you? This is why I say do not listen to these guys. I have the people that, like, I talk to so many different people uh, that support me. And they are normal guys, man. They are normal guys. The majority of men out here are just normal dudes who are trying to find a partner that they find attractive, that that appreciate them, and that are just kind to them. Those those three, and uh, and obviously like that respect them. Let me say those four are some of the main qualities that men look for. If you still support Fresh and Fit and you are watching this video, I implore you, stop it. These guys have never been in an actual relationship. They don't know what they're talking about. The women that they get with actually do not respect them. They respect their wallets. They respect their pockets. Do not listen to these guys at all because they do not know what the hell they're talking about. They don't even understand what a healthy relationship looks like. And they keep talk and they keep saying, "Oh, you shouldn't go 50/50 with your woman, blah blah blah, 50/50." 50/50 is not strictly monetary. It's not Sometimes shit happens in life and you have to pick up the slack. Now, marriage, relationships in general, it sh they should be a partnership, but they are not always going to be 50-50. Sometimes they're 60-40. Sometimes they could be 70-30. Sometimes they could be 90-10. It just depends on what the hell is going on. And it's never going to stay the same. It's constantly going to flip-flop. But you know what? That's okay. Because again, at the end of the day, this should be a partnership. Like... They support the nuclear they support the nuclear family, but they essentially want the wife to be a slave and they want the father to be a slave master. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> guys, one more time. Please do not listen to these guys, man. They are clowns. Oh. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with anything that I said? Do you disagree? Please let me know in the comments down below. Real quick, my Q&A video is going to be uh, posted on Monday. I'm going to record it Sunday. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below or comment on my last post, on my community post. A lot of you have been asking me questions, so I'm going to answer a lot of them during this video. And also make sure that you guys pop in for the live tomorrow. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. We celebrate 10K. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash watts underscore TV 94. And follow me on all of my social media platforms down below and join the discord i will see you guys in the next video peace